I'm James Velton, and I'm going to tell you about one of the least known historic spots in San Antonio. Welcome to Casa Navarro. Casa Navarro is located on the corner of Nueva and South Laredo Street in downtown San Antonio. It was the residence of Jose Antonio Navarro. He purchased the property in 1832, but he wouldn't make it his home until 1856. To avoid demolition, the San Antonio Conservation Society purchased the property in 1960. It was restored and became a museum until 1975. During those 15 years, the site was registered as a Texas historical landmark in 1962 and in 1972 was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 1975, the site was donated to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. In 2008, operational control was transferred to the Texas Historical Commission. Jose Antonio Navarro was born February 27, 1795. His mother, Maria, was of aristocratic descent. His father was a runaway servant turned successful merchant and the alcalde of San Antonio. During this time, San Antonio was under Spanish rule and deadly clashes between the Spanish army and Mexican rebels happened frequently. Navarro fled to the United States to avoid execution for being a rebel supporter. At the age of 21, Navarro returned with the belief that the only way to bring stability to the region was Anglo-American colonization. Navarro started his rise in politics by being elected to the state legislature of the Mexican state of Coahuila y Tejas. Later, he would be elected to the National Congress in Mexico City. He pushed for policies that favored the colonization effort and promoted the idea of Texas statehood within the Mexican Federation. Navarro helped draft the Texas Declaration of Independence. He was one of three Mexican signers and one of two native-born Texan signers. In 1841, Navarro accompanied the Texan Santa Fe Expedition. The purpose was to get New Mexicans to join the Republic of Texas. When they arrived in New Mexico, they were arrested and marched to Mexico City. Most of the prisoners were released and allowed to go home. Navarro was tried and convicted of treason. He was imprisoned under harsh conditions at Veracruz. Expecting to be executed, he finally managed to escape and make his way back to Texas. Navarro favored the annexation of Texas to the United States. He was the only Tejano delegate at the Convention of 1845, which met to vote on the annexation question. At the convention, he helped draft the first state constitution and successfully protected Tejano citizenship rights, including preventing a move to deny voting rights to Hispanics. After statehood, he served two terms in the Texas Senate before retiring from politics. Casa Navarro is the only building left from Laredito, meaning Little Laredo, the old Tejano barrio on the west side of San Antonio. Casa Navarro is a multi-sensory experience with three buildings dating back to the mid-1800s. His single-story limestone house, a two-story office building, and an adobe and caliche kitchen with front and rear porches. Casa Navarro hosts many events throughout the year, such as adobe building workshops, Tejano gardening days, and historic food demonstrations every first Tuesday. Casa Navarro is open Tuesdays through Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sundays, noon to 5. More information on Casa Navarro is available online at visitcasanavarro.com. You can also go to thc.state.tx.us for more information on the Texas Historical Commission. The Texas Historical Commission. Real places telling real stories. This has been a presentation of Jaguar Student Media at Texas A&M University, San Antonio.